Welcome to my Secret Place Devotion with Oyeks Alfred. The Word of God is alive and equipped to change your life. Good morning. Thank you for joining me today. Let's pray from Colossians 1 9, where the Bible says that, you know, God should give you complete knowledge of His will in all wisdom and understanding. Father, thank you for today. I pray for your people that you fill them with the knowledge of your will, that they will know exactly what you want them to do part time in the name of Jesus. Saturate them with spiritual wisdom and spiritual understanding today in the name of Jesus. Amen. Man. So let me start by asking you a question. How much are you worth? What exactly is your value? If you are weighed in the scale by God, how much do you think you weigh in God's scale? Let me tell you what you are worth. You are so valuable that nothing on this earth can be used to buy you. If they equate all the gold, silver, and they equate it to a particular sum of money, that money cannot buy you. The only thing that can buy you is the blood of Jesus. Think about it. What it means is that you were on one side and on the other side, God said, you know what? The only thing that can pay for this person is the blood of my son. God looked at you and thought you were so worth it that he was willing to release his one and only son who had done absolutely nothing wrong. He has not displeased God in any way. He has not failed in any commandment. There's nothing that he did wrong. And God looked at his only son and said, you know what? Man is so worth it that I'm going to release my son to go to planet Earth. Going to planet Earth is already a lot of torture. You know, I can imagine comparing heaven to the earth. You know, it's already a lot of torture. Just think about it. The world is advanced right now. But imagine how the world, you know, looked like many years ago when Jesus, about 2,000 plus years ago, when Jesus actually walked the face of this earth. Civilization was next to nothing. I can imagine how terrible the water would have been. I can imagine how, you know, the roads would have been really rough and all of that. But that was the time he chose to come. He could have come today. Well, at least there's some sort of civilization and advancement in the world. But he chose to come at that time, you know. So coming, even if he didn't suffer and go to hell, just being on earth alone, coming from heaven and living on earth for 30 plus years is a lot of torture. But beyond that, he was still, you know, made to go to hell. He was tortured. He did all of that. And God realizing all of that still released his son. Jesus realizing all of that still agreed to go. The Holy Spirit realizing all of this still agreed to help Jesus to go through his time on earth. Why did he do all of that? Not because of his own sins, not because of anything he had done, but simply because of you and I. Why God loves us that much? Why God thinks we're that valuable? it is only God that knows. But the point is that God thinks you are valuable. God thinks that you are worth it. And God is willing and has always been willing to do everything to reconcile you back to himself. That is how much you are worth. But what the enemy does is he doesn't want you to recognize your worth. He doesn't want you to recognize your value. He doesn't want you to recognize or see yourself the way that God sees you. And so he constantly puts you down. And that is why people are suffering from depression. People are suffering from inferiority complex. People are doing things to please men. People are going out of their way to put themselves under pressure that they cannot afford because they want to please Mr. X or they want to appear in a certain way to Mr. Y or they just want the world to see them in a certain way. The reason they do all of that is because they've not seen themselves the way that God sees them. The Bible tells us in Acts chapter 20 verse 28, he says, so guard yourself and God's people. He was talking to the pastor. He said, guard yourself and also guard God's people. He said, feed and shepherd God's flock. So you are God's flock. You are God's sheep. You are God's own. That's what the scripture tells us in this Acts 20, 28. He said, feed and shepherd God's flock, his church. He said, he purchased with his own blood and the Holy Spirit has appointed you as a leader. So we are so precious that you know, the Holy Spirit had to appoint a leader, train a leader. That is a pastor, a man of God. God appoints and trains them and puts them to watch over you. And, you know, God is doing that because he cares about your spirit. He cares about your soul. He really cares about you. And the Bible says that you were purchased by blood. Nothing on this earth 
could purchase you. It was just the very blood of Jesus. That's what could purchase you. A stainless, sinless blood. That's the only thing that could purchase you because you are valuable. God made you valuable. God thinks you are valuable. God thinks you are worth it. How do you reduce your value? How do you reduce your worth? When you walk in disobedience to God, when you live in sin, you stain your garment and all of that. But in the midst of that, God still loves you and God wants you back. Have you lost a passionate fellowship with the Lord? Have you lost, you know, a passionate work with the Lord? Have you gone off into sin and disobedience? You can have that relationship back. If only you recognize that I am worth it. I am too much for sin. I am too big to live in sin. I am too big to lie, to steal, to cheat, to do all of those things because of who my father is. And you want to reconcile back to God. Go back to the father and say, Lord, I recognize I'm your child. And you know, I'm sorry for how I've lived. And I come back again to you. Maybe if you've never had a relationship with the Lord Jesus, this is a good time to say, you know what, Lord, I choose to become a person of value that you have made me. I refuse to live in sin and follow the enemy, you know, to destroy my life. So Lord, I want you to be my Lord and my savior. I want to take charge of my entire life because you have made me worth it. You have made me valuable and all of that. If you genuinely pray that prayer to the Lord, I'm going to give you a number to call and just let him know you just give your heart to the Lord and you want to know how to be consistent with this work and I can't still take it off from there. But stay valuable by staying close to God, by staying away from sin, by doing all the things that God has asked us to do. That's how you stay valuable and don't allow the devil to cheat you by robbing you of the value that God has put on you. So if you genuinely want to give your heart to the Lord, just call this number after you have prayed, plus 234-80-655-60481. There's a counselor waiting to talk to you if you want to know how to maintain a consistent walk with the Lord. Thank you so much for listening. God bless you. Have an amazing weekend.